In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build the perfect lead list for your cold email campaign. But first, let me introduce myself. My name's George, I'm the founder of Email Chaser. And now I'm gonna show you the four-step process that I always use when I'm creating a lead list for my campaigns. This is an article which I wrote for Email Chaser's blog. And as you can see in this article, there is a four-step process that I always use when creating my lead list. The first is to identify your ideal customer profile or ICP. The second step is to determine where your customers are located online. The third step is to make a list of the top 20%. And then the fourth step is to find their email addresses. One of the most common mistakes that people make when they're building their lead list for their cold email campaign is they assume that just because someone is a specific job title and they're in a specific industry, that that means that they're their ICP. But that's not true. And that's why most people have a very low response rate. For example, if I'm gonna be creating a lead list for Email Chaser so that I can get new users for Email Chaser, then my ICP is gonna be people that already use cold email software. And the reason why that's important to understand is because the regular business owner, the average person doesn't even know what cold email software is. So if I just send out a bunch of cold emails to random business owners, even if they're in our industry or even if they're in whatever location we're trying to target, they're not going to respond to me because they don't even know what cold email software is and they probably don't care. And the problem with emailing a high volume of people and then having a very low response rate is that your email accounts can then get blacklisted by ESPs like Gmail and Outlook because if your response rate is very low, they're going to think you're spamming people. So your lead list is super important because if you have a bad lead list that isn't relevant, then you're going to have a low response rate, which means your email accounts will get blacklisted, which means that all your emails will go to spam. So don't take this lightly. This is extremely important to understand. And it's important that you put time and effort into building your lead list the right way. Now I'm going to take you through the four-step process. I'm going to use Email Chaser as the example, but obviously you can take these principles and then apply it to your own situation for your own business. Now, the first step of building your lead list is identify your ideal customer profile, ICP. In sales, the term ideal customer profile refers to hypothetical customer type that would most benefit from your product or service. So as I just gave that example, the email chaser, since email chaser is a cold email software, the most ideal type of person that we can reach out to to sell email chaser for is going to be someone that already uses cold email software. So you want to establish who that ICP is for your business. And once you understand who that is, you can then proceed to the next step, which is determine where your customers are located online. Now, this is something that most people get wrong. Most people will go to some kind of B2B database tool like Apollo and just export thousands of random leads. That's the wrong move in most situations. And the reason why is because tools like Apollo, all they do is give you generic business owners or people within businesses. They're not going to give you the perfect ICP for your business. So for example, in the context of email chaser, our ICP are people that already use cold email software. A tool like Apollo is never going to be able to give me a list of people that already use cold email software, which means that the only way for me to really make that list is to find out where people are online that already use cold email software. So in the example of email chaser, what we did in our campaign is we made, we basically built a custom scraper, which was able to scrape all of the domains that are in all of our competitors' warm-up pools because most of our competitors, other cold email softwares, they offer email warm-up tools and all of their users add their email accounts to those warm-up pools. And so what we're able to do is just scrape all those email accounts. And then from those email accounts, we can see the domains associated with each email account and then establish the business for each one of those users. And then once we know what the website is for all their users, we can obviously enrich that data and find the email address of the business owner for each business. Uh, But the point is, without going into too much, too many details about that particular situation, we didn't rely on a random tool like Apollo. We established that, okay, our ICP is located on, in the warm-up pools of all of our competitors. Let's now make a, you know, let's find out how we can actually build a list of those people. And that brings me to the third point, which is making a list of the top 20%. Once you have a list of people that are your ICP, they're not all going to be your ideal 
clients. So what I usually will do is I'll get rid of anyone in that list who is unlikely to convert to a paying customer or client. So in the case of email chaser, we automatically will remove people from our list who are from low-income countries. So for example, there's a country that has the an average annual income of something like $2,000. Well, then we're going to remove those people from our list because the likelihood that someone who's in a country that has at average annual income of only $2,000, that they're going to convert to relatively expensive B2B SaaS product is basically zero. So we just remove them from the list because there's, there's, that's not going to go anywhere. And that's just one example. There's a lot of other ways that you can refine your list, but you want to think about how can you remove the people from your lead list that are never going to convert and just focus on the top 20% and put your energy into those people because they're the ones who are going to result in the most revenue for your business. And then the final step here is find their email addresses. There are a lot of tools online that you can use to find the email address of, of someone, especially if you have a list of leads, you can upload your list two different tools and they'll give you the email addresses. Email Chaser, for example, has a free email finder tool that you can use. You can even hire a VA online for a low amount and then ask your VA to manually find the email address of each lead if that's what you want to do. It all depends on your particular situation. There isn't one right way of doing it, but in general, you just want to find the email address of each lead so that when you upload your leads to your cold email campaign, you can obviously send them all emails. And that's really all there is to it. So you can check out this article and read it in detail when you have time. But the main point here is that when you're building your lead list, it's crucial that you understand who your ideal customer is and then do whatever it takes to make a list of those people. Cookie cutter database tools like Apollo are rarely the right option. I'm not saying that they're always bad, but in 95% of situations, they probably aren't the right option for your business. And if you send a high volume of cold emails and you get a very low response rate, then your email accounts will get blacklisted and your emails will go to spam. So do not take this lightly. Your lead list directly impacts your deliverability and the success of your cold email campaign. Put time, effort, and money into building the best possible lead list and your business will generate significantly more revenue. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this about cold email, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope to see you in the next video.